She's got that look. She's got that style. She's got that conversation that makes you want to stay for a while. She's the all-American woman. Hi, everyone. And I am ready to begin my new series with uh, from All-American Woman, the segment on women kids should know and read about. This is part one, and today we're going to be talking about literary and artistic geniuses. Okay, so we're going to start with one of my favorites, Ms. Maya Angelou. Now, Maya Angelou, this is one book of many that has been written about her. And of course, she's written many books herself, her own autobiography, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, and plus other uh, books full of poetry. So one of my favorites is Phenomenal Woman, <laughs> but a lot of people remember her for her um, presidential speech, I Rise, that she did for President Clinton. So this right here is one of my favorites because it's for like most kids of all ages can read it. Uh, I say it's more for like maybe third third graders and up because it has a lot of words in there but the younger kids can also enjoy these pictures which are beautiful now these are not illustrations these are pictures that take you through her life this book um, is I got from my public library so I'm sure it's in yours and it was written by Judith E. Harper it's a beautiful book and a great dedication to Maya Angelou so She's one of the greats, as I said before. Now, an artistic genius that I'm sure a lot of you have heard about is Frida Kahlo. Now, Frida Kahlo is Mexican. It's a Mexican artist that is most people will recognize that she did her very own self-portrait, and it's beautiful. And that's how a lot of people remember her, and also for the flowers in the hair. So. Frida Kahlo, just to give you a little bit of um, history here, was did not want to be an artist when she first started. She wanted to be a doctor because, but when she was born, she was sickly for from a, for a long time, um, and she was plagued with illness. But at the very beginning of her youth, she got so sick she had to stay in bed, and while she was in bed, so it came about that she began to draw or paint pictures and m most of her art is dedicated to her homeland Mexico and it's like beautiful landscapes and and things and most in their very colorful pictures there are a few illustrations in here that kind of um, just give you a little inkling of what her art looks like and they have art exhibits here in the US and of course in Mexico and she is one of the most famous female artist of all time. So you should definitely read about her. And this is just one of many books. And there are books, this one is probably for fourth and fifth graders up because it's a chapter book, but there are some books about Frida Kahlo for younger readers as well. Uh, there's one in particular called Frida that is very sweet and it also talks about her life. And it's for like your younger readers like your first and second graders, beginning readers. All right, so this next series is about this Arthur, author named uh, Valerie Wilson Wesley. Now, she has written many books, but today I just want to talk about her series, Wilhelmina Rules. It kind of goes into the same tradition of Dork Diaries and Wimpy Kid uh, series books. They're very cute. Uh, they talk about this young girl named Wilhelmina who has a sister, mom and dad, and she's just going through all the trials and tribulations of being in school and going through so much. So Wilhelmina saves you the trouble of having to go through it yourself, but if you happen to, she writes a rule book for you. And that's pretty much what this is, the book is. It's like different sets of rules to go say, hey, so you lost your cookie money. Well, here are the rules for that. <laughs> and it's a rule book and it's very cute, very sweet. And um, these are some excellent books. These are just some of them. How to, lose your how to Lose Your Cookie Money, How to Face Up to the Class Bully, How to Almost Ruin Your School Play, How to Fish for Trouble, 
and how to lose your class pet. This is really great for kids uh, fourth grade and up and probably third graders too that read chapter books. All right, so my uh, last person on the list is Miss Avashi Harrison. Now the thing about Miss Harrison is, and you know it when you read the books, is that she not only wrote these books, she also illustrated them. She's also a filmmaker. So these are the little series books. Now these are just a couple of them that I have. I personally purchased from Amazon. But um, she has written a few more as well, and I'm sure she's probably write some more. Uh, but these little series books are so cute, especially for your beginning readers, uh, like your first and second graders. Um, they are just so cute. They're very short, but they talk about women in history as well. And then these books are for maybe your older readers, maybe your third graders or so. And these books uh, give you a brief, brief biography <laughs> about different women in history. Uh, let's start like here. We have Sojourner Truth. So and the, the illustrations are just so cute and the books are just so wonderful and they give the kids a little inkling about the different women in history so then they can go out and maybe learn more. So I have two honorable mentions. The first is for Mir Murasaki Shikibu. Now she is of Japanese of descent and she is known for writing this is the world's first novel and uh, the name of the novel is called The Tale of Genji. Now <laughs> probably if anyone the high schoolers college students would probably read this book it's actually um, published in two volumes because it is so huge and it's very expensive mainly because of the history of it being the world's first novel. So um, I do, do not have one. <laughs> one day I'll probably try and get one from the library so that I can read it. It is written in both uh, Japanese and it's, it's translated into English and other languages so that other people can read it. You never know. So the last, last or the second and last honorable mention that I have is of uh, another author Julia Alvarez now you're saying this is a movie yes it is a movie uh, I didn't I bought the movie before I knew this was a book because I usually like to read the book before I see the movie but um this the name of the book and the movie are in the tell in the time of the butterflies now this is starring Selma Hayek and Mark Anthony mainly Selma Hayek anyway <laughs> so this is about uh, three sisters that fight against the government officials for the freedom of their people and it is a beautiful story like I said I didn't read the book but I hope the the movie stayed true to the book for the most part because it is so beautifully um, portrayed in the movie so if you don't read the book go see the movie if you don't want to see the movie read the book or better yet do both so, <laughs> and uh, as I said before, um, this was um, written by Julia Alvarez, and the book, the movie was adapted from the book. She's also an, a, a poet, and she's written other novels, and she's an essayist. So, she's also my recommendation as well. Well, that is all that I have today. Um, that is the first part one of of ten. And I hope you look at the others, and I hope you learn something, and I hope you can help me learn some new things by going to down below and suggesting um, other women, and also telling me what you thought of this one. All right, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.